Guys, welcome back. Monday morning. Hope everybody had a great weekend. For a child with hearing loss, no matter how good the technology is, they're listening through a damaged auditory system. We need to help them to hear what's happening in the classroom. If they don't hear the teacher, if they don't hear the questions and comments from other kids in the classroom, they're going to miss a significant amount of what happens, and that's not fair to them. We have to remember that classrooms are very noisy places. For a child to hear well in the classroom, we need to give them some special assistance. The first example we're going to show you today is to help you understand what a child with a hearing loss hears in the classroom with an FM system and what he would hear if we didn't turn the FM system on. So let's get it going. The teacher in this classroom has forgotten to put on his FM microphone. Without the microphone turned on, it's almost impossible for a child with a hearing loss to hear clearly. Let's listen to what a child with a hearing loss will hear with the FM unit turned off. Without an FM system on, the child is going to be hearing very muffled speech, or like they're listening from a very great distance. Forgetting to turn on the FM system can happen to anybody, but don't count on the student to tell you if it's not working. Look for visual clues that he's confused, or watch the student trying to look around to see what's happening in the classroom. After a quick check, the teacher can turn on the microphone, check with the student, and make sure that all is working well. Okay, good. That yeah. gets the student back on track and gets the lesson going in the right direction. You sounding okay now? Okay. So Once the FM system Friday is turned on, the student is hearing as if the teacher was standing right next to his ear. Generated a list of where jobs, which jobs were important to know geography. Making sure that the FM system works is the responsibility of both the teachers and the students. The students are responsible for advocating for themselves and should be encouraged to say something when the FM system either isn't working or is working poorly. As long as they can hear, they can compete. When there's only one microphone, we know the child will hear the teacher clearly, but they also need to hear the classroom discussion. If there's a pass mic, this microphone can be passed around from student to student, and then all of the students will have the opportunity to speak into the microphone, and the child with the hearing loss will hear everything they're saying. If there isn't a pass mic in the classroom, it's the teacher's responsibility to repeat what's said so that the child with the hearing loss knows what's happening. That means repeating the question if a child asks a question, or repeating what the kids say in their comments. Listen now to how other students' comments sound to a student okay, with a hearing loss and how disorienting it can be for a child when the teacher forgets to repeat the comments or the questions. So who's got the next one? Who has another good idea? Aaron, what's your idea? Okay, that's, yeah, it's funny, but, but that's a good one. Because you're going to be traveling a bunch of different places. You're going to have to know. By continuing with the class and not repeating the other students' comments, the teacher quickly loses the attention of the child with a hearing loss. Let's hear again just how difficult it is for a child with a hearing loss to hear his classmates. So let's talk about another one from someone's list on Friday that we had created. Um, who might have a good idea that we haven't talked about yet? OK, Aaron, how about one from your list? Okay. You see That's how a good important one. it is for the teacher to, to repeat the comments places. of other children um, in the classroom so that the locations. child with a hearing loss can be a fully there. productive member of the class. So Aaron just uh, told us rock star. What do you think? Because as a rock star, you're going to be traveling to, to a bunch of places. The two reenactments you just saw are two simple steps that can happen in every classroom to help children hear better. It's something that needs to be part of every educational day.